I have some big news. Hi everybody. I have some really big news that I am just bursting to talk about. Me and Django are going to be fostering a dog from China at our house for the next six months and I am so excited. Please excuse my crazy hair. I'm in Texas and it's humid as hell here right now. That's better. So today I just want to sit and chat with you guys to tell you about what the heck is happening in my life because something really big is going to be happening soon. Right now I'm in Houston, Texas visiting my parents and by the time you guys see this video I'm going to have a foster dog at my house and things are going to get a lot crazier. So I'm going to tell you the story about that. If you're here just to see the dogs, which I know a lot of you are, that's totally cool. Not offended. Stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to do, be doing a little montage of my parents' adorable pit bull named Boomer. So stick around for that. But for those of you who want to hear about this foster dog, I'm going to explain the whole situation to you. It kind of happened really fast, to be honest, because I think it happened quite fast for them, for the owners of this dog. Uh, the dog's name is Jazz. She is completely amazing from what I, what I see and what I hear about her. I think she's going to be a really good fit with me and Django. And um, basically, her owners are from Australia. They've been living in China, and now they're moving back to Australia. But the law says that you can't bring a dog straight from China to Australia. They have to be in a rabies-free country for 180 days first. So Canada is a rabies free country and the family decided to send Jazz to Canada, to Toronto specifically, um, for that 180 days. But the problem is they don't really know anyone in Toronto. So when I saw this opportunity, I decided to step up to the plate. I've been wanting to foster dogs for a long time, but the timing was never really right. And it just seems like the perfect opportunity for me to do that. Also an added advantage, one of the reasons that I haven't wanted to foster um, a rescue dog is that I would probably just end up honestly adopting every single foster that I have and in this case Jazz already has a family so even if I wanted to I can't do that so I think this is the best situation possible so Jazz is going to be coming to me very soon staying with me for six months and through that time I'm just going to treat her as though she's my dog we're just gonna she's gonna come along on all our adventures we're gonna do everything together there will be a lot of videos with her in it partially because I want you guys to see what it's like to foster a dog but also because I want the family to see what kind of a life Jazz is having while she's away from them so there's gonna be a lot of videos you can expect a lot of videos and a lot of pictures uh, so follow us along on this journey to document it and now I think that's all the information that I have for you if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise stay tuned for more jazz videos I'm gonna film pretty much everything and now let's roll that boomer footage so you can see a cute little pit bull that I'm spending my time with here in Houston <laughs> Oh yeah, the Anthony one was so good. 